lighting the flames of faith. We perform this ceremony to promote the universal consciousness of life, which acknowledges that all peoples and all faiths, all sentient beings, come from the one great universal presence which we call spirit. Fundamental to this truth is the unifying nature of all religious thought and experience which each of us here today is honoring in this very moment. So in your own form and in your own fashion, as you might glance up here and you look at these candles, one of these candles then represents the Tao, honoring the universal path of harmony and equilibrium known as the natural way. The next candle is for the shamanic traditions, honoring the beliefs and practices of all indigenous peoples known as primal spirituality. We light the candle for Hinduism, honoring the path of knowledge, action, and devotion. We light the candle for Judaism, honoring the ethical path of living by sacred law. The fifth candle, candle represents all forms of Buddhism, honoring the four noble truths and the path of compassion. Number six is the candle for all forms of Christianity, honoring the Christ consciousness as the path of love. As you look again up here, you will see that there is a candle which represents Islam, honoring the path of submission to the will of God as the highest calling. Number eight is the candle for the universalistic religion of Baha'i, honoring the path of unity and peace. And number nine, the candle for all forms of new thought, honoring the metaphysical path of mental healing, mental healing through the practice of these beautiful universal spiritual principles. And the tenth candle, any one of these candles can be the tenth candle, and we call it the healing candle. And I invite you in this moment put, to put the name, the essence, the request of someone in your life into that flame so that you may acknowledge them, honor them, and include them in this moment in the flame of God's eternal healing And we know that through that intention, it is done. And so it is. <laughs>